Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be uh, designing and making our own Trippy Red shirts. I know it's a bit weird to see this kind of content on my channel, but I wanted to expand my channel to also include clothing content. I'm still going to do the shoe content, but like I said, I also want to do some clothing content on the side. Anyways, back to the main point. The Trippy Red shirts that we're going to be making today are actually going to be for my girl's sister. She's a pretty big Trippy Red fan and they were supposed to be for her birthday, which was like a couple months back. Not too long ago. I mean, better late than never, right? So the way we're going to be achieving this is by making our designs on the computer and then we're going to be printing them out on transfer paper and then just ironing them on a t-shirt. I know they're not the best quality option or the longest lasting option, but for what I have available to me, this is really the easiest, cheapest, and best way to go about it. I actually use this to make uh, Pokemon shirts for my girl's other sister. She's got a lot of sisters. And that was a while ago, and uh, they're still good. So, you know, we'll see We'll see how long these, these things last. The Avery paper does say that it's fade resistant and that it should be good after 20 washes. But, you know, we'll see about that. I'm going to be making three different designs and putting them on uh, two long sleeve shirts and one short sleeve shirt. So with that being said, let's go make our first design. I'm not going with pieces right here. So for the first design, I wanted to make something simple and obvious. So I just typed Trippy Red in Photoshop, put on the sleeve and the 1400 number that Trippy Red mentions so much, I will be putting on the left hand chest area. I actually found the font used on his first album and it's called Pyrite if anyone's wondering. I will also put a white stroke outline, which I'm probably going to be doing a lot. And that's to make the cutout process easier to do, which you will see later on in the video. So that's it for the first design, very simple. Let's go on to the second design. For the second design, I want it to be a bit more creative and low key. So instead of the basic trippy red text, I decided to just type red and add a blood like drip effect with a white outline, of course. Like I said, this is more low key, but anyone who's a fan or honestly just knows about trippy red will still know what the shirt is referencing after giving it a second look. For the sleeves, I put the same drip effect and stroke, but this time on the 1400 slash 800 numbers, which are the ones he references in many of his songs. That's pretty much it for the second design. Let's move on to the last design. For this design, I wanted to have a bit more fun. I've seen a few people mention how Trippy Red looks like Bowser. So after browsing the random Reddit comments from fans, Big foot so team, huge foot team, gigantic yeah. 10 plus 4. I decided to make a Troopy Bowser or Bowser Red. Let me know which one you guys think is best. So I began drawing and my first sketches were on Photoshop and man, did it come out janky. My initial sketch wasn't that bad, but after inking it in and putting color on it, it just looked pretty bad. So I just said screw it and decided to try to learn Adobe Illustrator and draw the Bowser Red and just learn the program as I went. But man, was it a pain to learn. And honestly, came out okay, but I messed up a lot on the layers part. We are supposed to put everything on separate layers, and I ended up just mixing up the layers and losing track of what went on which layer.
it was as fun as it was irritating but once we were done we went from 14 to big 14 or wait big 14 so after all of that i ended up showing her the design and she seemed a bit confused and i honestly just think she just didn't like it i don't blame her though it do be looking kind of weird so i just scrapped the whole idea and just went with the viper magazine cover i was going to use an album cover but i really liked how the magazine cover looked so i ended up going with that time to print so if you want to try this on your own just make sure you're using an inkjet printer it'll only work on that and just print on high quality Now we just cut out our designs. I used a hobby knife for the spots where it was difficult for the scissors to get to. As you can see the stroke allows for some room for error in cutting. Also I'm wearing a glove because I don't like getting oil on the transfer paper and because the paper scratches pretty easily so you definitely have to be careful. If you have a $300 die cutting machine laying around you can also use that to cut out your design perfectly without having to put an outline on it but honestly that's just living life on easy mode and you don't want that Now we're done cutting. Time to iron. Gonna be ironing them on some gilded blanks and I washed them beforehand so they would be pre-shrunk and the graphic would hopefully last longer. Also took to it with some tape since I didn't have a lint roller just to make sure there were no hairs or fuzzies on the shirt before we did the ironing. Ironing is honestly the easiest part of the whole process as it takes just a couple minutes. You just put the graphic where you want it and iron it with the wax paper that it comes with and that's pretty much it. Finally, we're done ironing. I actually messed up on the last design. My wax paper moved and I ended up ironing on the bare transfer paper, which you don't want. Time to try them on.
So there you guys have it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys thought and uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this type of content. It was really fun to make and uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm also going to try to upload a lot more often, especially since we're nearing a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys for that. So I will see you guys in the next one. Really? Yeah. <gasps> no, is that actually gonna mess it up? Wait, it takes the paint off. No. Is it straight now? No, it's not. No, you straight. can still put it on though. Damage or difference, you think? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just put it on. Oh, it's not cutting.